Hello guys, today we take a look in tokens, expressions and control structures in OOPs. First, uh, let's see what is tokens. Okay, the smallest individual units in a program are known as tokens. And C++ has uh, many of many type of tokens like keywords, identifiers, constants, strings, operators. A C++ program is written using these tokens, white spaces and the syntax of the language. Most of the C++ tokens are basically similar to the C tokens with the exception of some additions and minor modifications. Then what is keywords? Keywords in C++ language. What is the use of keywords or uh, how do we use that in a C++ program. They are explicitly reserved identifiers and cannot be used as names for the program variables or other used defined program elements. Many of the keywords are common to both C and C++. The and C, C keywords are shown in bold face. Additional keywords have been added to the and C Z keywords in order to enhance its features and make it an object oriented languages. And C C++ standards committee has added some more keywords to make the languages more versatile. Uh, these are shown separately. Uh, meaning and purpose of all C++ keywords uh, are in different way. Next we see identifiers and constants. What is the difference between these identifiers and constants? Identifiers refers to the names of variables, functions, arrays, classes, etc. created by the programmer. Okay. Let us see. Uh, I am the programmer. I can, uh, I can give a value for the variable or the functions, arrays, classes. That's all I like. That's the identifiers. They are the fundamental requirement for any language. Each language has its own rules for naming these identifiers uh, such as uh, uh, alphabets, uh, um, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, special symbols. That's the uh, use of in variables. Uh, uh, some uh, rules are common to both C and C++ when we give an identifiers or constants. Okay, that rules are uh, only alphabetic characters or digits and underscores are permitted. The name cannot start with a digit. Uppercase and lowercase letters are distinct. A declared keyword cannot be used as a variable name. Some of the keywords are uh, auto, break, case, catch, care, class, const, continue, default, delete, do, go to, if, int, long, these are all the C++ keywords. And a major difference between C and C++ is the limit on the length of a name. Okay, how much is the length or uh, what the limit of the name, length of the name. Okay, uh, while ANSI C recognizes only the first 32 characters in a name. And C++ places no limit on its length and therefore all the characters in a name are significant. So, care should be exercised while naming a variable which is being shared by more than one file containing C and C++ programs. Some operating systems impose a restriction on the length of such a variable name. Next is basic data types. What is the data types used in C++ language? And these are classified as an user defined type, built in type and derived type. Built-in type also classified as integral type that is int, integer type of variables and void, void means empty and the floating type that uh, contains the decimal points and fractions. Uh, then the integral type again classified as int and char, char means character and floating type also classified as float and double, double has 8 bytes of uh, the size and the float has only 4 bytes, 4 bytes characters should be stored. Both C and C++ compilers support all the built-in data types uh, or the fundamental data types with the exception of void. The basic data types may have several modifiers preceding them to serve the needs of various situations. The modifiers signed and signed long and short may be applied to character and integer basic data types 
However, the modifier long may also be applied to double data type representation is machine specific in C++. And all combinations of the basic data types and modifiers along with their size and range for a 16-bit word machine. And ANSI C++ committee has added two more data types boolean and uh, wcar underscore t. They are discussed in uh, the next chapter. The type void was introduced in ANSI C. Two normal uses of void are to specify the return type of a function when it is not returning any value and the second case is to indicate an empty argument list to a function. Okay, next we are going to take a look in user defined data types. What is user defined data types or how is the uh, use of in C++ language. Okay, in this uh, data types uh, structures and classes are the main uh, types and uh, struct and union is the data types used in this. While these data types are local in C++ some more features have been added to make them suitable for object oriented programming and it also permits uh, us to define another user defined data type known as class which can be used. Just like any other basic data type to declare variables and the class variables are known as objects which are the central focus of object oriented programming. More about these data types uh, discussed in uh, the next chapter and uh, one is the enumerated data type. An enumerated data type is another user defined type which provides a way for attaching names to numbers thereby increasing compressibility of the code. The enum keyword is used for the uh, indicating the enumerated data type and it automatically enumerates a list of words by assigning them values 0, 1, 2 and so on. This facility provides an alternative means for creating uh, symbolic constants and the syntax is like this enum enum is the keyword and the starting keyboard is that next is derived data type derived data type contains the arrays functions pointers that's all arrays means uh, the only exception is the way characters arrays are initialized when initializing a character array in ANSI the compiler will allow us to declare the array size as the exact length of the string constant. Uh, let us example char string of three, uh, three strings containing a character sentence and is equal to x, y, z. That's the three characters indicating is valid in ANSI. It assumes that the programmer intends to leave out the null character in the definition but in C++ the size should be one larger than the number of characters in the string. The next is functions. Functions have undergone major changes in C++. While some of these changes are simple, others require a new way of thinking when organizing uh, our programs. Many of these modifications and improvements were driven by the uh, requirements of the object oriented concept in C++. Some of these were introduced to make the C++ program more reliable and readable. All the features of C++ functions uh, are discussed in the next class. And next is pointers. Pointers are declared and initialized in C. Example, uh, this is the example for the pointers usage. Uh, an asterisk symbol is within the pointer we used. Pointers are extensively used in this for memory management and achieving polymorphism. This is the two concepts we used in pointers. Next is type compatibility. C++ is very strict with regard to type compatibility as compared to C4. For instance, in C++ defines int, short int, long int are three different types. They must be cast with their values are assigned to one another. Similarly, unsigned character, char, signed character are considered as different types. Although each of these has a size of one byte. In this, the types of values must be the same for complete compatibility or else a cast must be applied. These restrictions in this uh, programming are necessary in order to support function overloading where two functions with the same name are distinguished using the type of function arguments. And here is the uh, example for the type compatibility and to manage the size of what statement we put. 
So next is dynamic initialization of variables. In C a variable must be initialized using a constant expression and the C compiler would the uh, initialization code at the time of compilation and uh, in C++ permits initialization of the variables at a runtime this is referred to as dynamic initialization. Dynamic means uh, any instructions or code could be executed during the runtime. In C++ a variable can be initialized at runtime using expressions at the place of declaration. So it extensively used in object oriented programming we can create exactly the type of object needed uh, using information that is known only at the runtime. The next is reference variable. Reference variable means a new kind of variable uh, known as reference variable. It provides an alias or alternative name for a previously defined variable. For example, if we make the variable sum a reference to the variable total, then sum and total can be used interchangeably to represent that variable. Okay, and uh, reference variable is created as follows uh, data type and reference name is equal to variable name. The next is operators. Operators in C. What are the operators we used in a C programming? C has a rich set of operators, and all C operators are valid in C also. In addition, C introduces some new operators. We have already seen two such operators namely the insertion operation and the extraction operation that is for input and output process other new operators are a scope resolution operator point to member declarator point to member operator then memory release operator line feed operator memory allocation operator and field width operator many of such as uh, operators we used in c plus plus in addition, it also allows us to provide new definitions to some of the built-in operators. That is, we can give several meanings to an operator depending upon the types of arguments used. This process is known as operator overloading. Next is manipulators and uh, uh, most commonly used manipulators are end L and set W. The end L manipulator when used in an output statement causes a line field to be inserted. It has the same effect as using the new line character backslash of n and the set w manipulator specifies a field width of uh, uh, assume 5 width of 5 for printing the value of the variable sum the next we look for the expressions and their types used in c++ an expression is a combination of operators constants and variables arranged as per the rules of the language it may also include function calls which return values an expression may consist of uh, one or more operands and zero or more operators to produce a value expressions may be following as in seven types uh, constant expressions integral expressions float expressions pointer relational logical and bitwise expressions an expression may also use combinations of the above expressions such operations are called compound expressions so the first one is constant expression constant expressions means uh, con it consists of only constant values uh, like the uh, numbers 15 20 x uh, that all are constants we put okay then the integral expressions are those which produce integ integer results after implementing all the automatic and explicit type conversions example m m uh, into n minus 5 that all are integer where m and n are integer values then float expressions are those which after all conversions producing floating point results that means the uh, the value contains the decimal points then pointer expressions uh, produce address values that means ampersand of m or ptr that uh, indicates the pointer then next is relational expressions uh, it yields results of type boolean which takes a value true or false when arithmetic expressions are used on either side of a relational operator they will be evaluated first and then the results compared so relational expressions are also known as uh, boolean expression <laughs>